Hey, what's up, fellas? How you doing, man? It's Anelli here. Hey, what's going on, guys? How we doing? Man, it's Anelli here. Today, we're talking some infield play. Uh, what I want to talk about is being butt up when I field, okay? So, I want to talk about a couple of the keys that we, we use with our fielders. Um, the biggest thing is I want to be able to play low, right? I want to get my eyes close to the baseball. I want to play from the ground up. I want to get below the ball. Those are some key words and phrases that we use, right? But I also got to be able to get my hands out front, okay? I always want to be able to see the ball and my glove in the same view at all times. I never want to just be able to see the ball and not my glove or vice versa, okay? And so the way that you do that, the way that you do all of those things, you play below the ball, you play from the ground up, you get your eyes close to the baseball, you get your hands out front, is you got to do a couple things, okay? First thing is you've got to bend your knees. The second thing is you've got to get your butt up, okay? So butt up, back flat, okay? When I get my butt up, my back gets flat, we tell our players, I want your back to be an ironing board. I want you to be, I want to be able to iron a shirt right off of your back or right on your back. Okay? And so when I bend my knees, I get down low, right? This is playing below the ball, get my eyes close to the ball, right? Playing from the ground up. Now when I get my butt up, it gets my back flat. It gets me even lower. It allows my hands to play out front okay so let me show from this angle I bend my knees I get my butt up and now I get my hands out front right there all right so now I'm playing low I'm playing below the ball all really good things can happen from that position now what I see happen a lot is I'll see a lot of coaches talk to infields about getting down they say get the butt down get your butt down right I hear that a lot and the problem is, when my butt goes down and not up, right? If I bend my knees, but I play with my butt down, then my chest plays real vertical. And now when I put my hands down, they play underneath me. And from this position here, I can see the ball, but I can't see my glove. And the, we feel that too deep and the ball disappears once it gets kind of underneath us because we can't see our glove. And so, Instead of bending my knees and playing with my butt down, if I just take my butt and push it up, now my back's flat. Now again, I can play with my hands out front and I can see the ball and the glove at the same time. The key with, the, with our hands out front, we tell our players, you wanna be out front so I can see the glove and the ball at the same time and the same view at the same time, right? I have a slight bend in my elbow, so I'm not completely stiff out here, then I get really a hard arm which creates hard hands so I want to be out front with a slight bend in my elbow and now I've got soft quick hands All right so I've got if I've got to make a late move I can and now I've got quick hands I've got soft hands as I transfer the middle and throw I've got really nice quick smooth actions okay so hopefully that helps you guys out it's a simple thing that I see get kind of confused because I think a lot of coaches and players know they want to play low, but sometimes they think playing low is bend my knees, get my butt down. When it's actually bend my knees, get my butt up, that'll get my back flat and my hands out front. All right, so hopefully that helps you guys out. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Subscribe to the channel, share the video with all your friends, give it a thumbs up, check out all our other videos. And that's all we got. Thank you so much. I'll talk to you guys later.